Welcome everybody back to Boost in Motion, guys. And today, I'm headed to Atlanta. Yeah, guys, so I wanna do a little bit of housekeeping. If you're new to the Boost in Motion family, guys, watch all the videos, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button with the bell notification, hit all. Listen, a lot of you guys follow your boy Boost, but don't hit the, boy, hit the likes. The likes is one of the best ways to make sure that this channel continues to grow. When you guys hit that like button, guess what happens? They recommend my videos to people who don't even know that I exist. Maybe I can get a better phone mount too, because you guys are like, goddamn boost, goddamn crappy phone mount. No, the crappy phone mount is in the 60, not the 63. But anyways, let's go, uh, let's get let's get to it. My boy RJ, because he came to Atlanta before with his goddamn 5.0 Mustang, bastard. That's it. It's expensive ass restaurant. Expensive. I ain't got all this money from bread. Got the little neck sleeve on. So we're gonna head out and we're gonna get there soon. Right, so I'm about to head out to this meet. Shout out to Double Up. I'm wearing this hat. You know, I'm representing you, brother. Um, I did end up changing the time frame from 3 to 1 p.m., but people think that I'm changing the ending time. No, I'm actually adding more time for us to hang out. But it is what it is. Whoever makes it out, I'm appreciative. And whoever doesn't, it's okay. Maybe next time. But anyways, let's get on the road. All right, everybody. So the first plot, the first setup place that we have didn't work out because it started raining. So, yeah, I hear you. Yeah. So I see these of. Uh, Plethora of Q50s. Plethora of Q50s. Bunch of them. Everybody lined up. Everybody's setting up. Looks really good. This red one, though, definitely standing out. Everybody have a different setup. All BMWs, we coming for you. Now we got some turbocharged cars. Hear me out. Definitely. The three Q60 go in the middle in line. They're not going to fit. And it's going to block the other cars. No, because we got a drone that's in the picture from the top. We got to get a picture from the bottom first. Everybody take a look. Everybody, it's so much. Hey, I remember the wing. Anybody remember the wing? From one of my, my last meetup, he still got the wing. Nice setup. Car sitting low. <laughs> All everybody. So, in a previous video, my man's right here had this huge wing. And I know you guys are making fun of it. And it was like, no, no wing, yes wing or whatever. But guess what? Now, how much does your car make? 500 horsepower, 511 torque. And with some of the modifications you have on the car now? Stage 2, purest turbo. No. Uh. AMS heat exchanger, AMS low pressure fuel pump. Exhaust modification. Exhaust, uh, custom exhaust, straight, straight pipe all the way through. Catless too? Catless uh, custom? Lower down pipes. Just lower, so you still cat it on pures? You probably, there's a lot more. So wait, how much did you make to the wheel? 500. Just 500 on 93. There's way more. You said stage two? Stage two? Yeah. Oh, there's way more left in there. But why are you still cat it though? You care about the earth? No, I haven't even changed it out yet. Yeah, you gotta change it out, man. You gotta change it out. Full callus because this so because right now you're supposed to be making like 550 yeah. close to 693. So, well, who told you? Uh, Soho. North so, Carolina. most okay. So, so they're probably just giving you something super conservative till now. Plus, they don't want all that back pressure. So, it is what it is. There's so much more. And also, guys, look, look, I know the wing still is an issue for you guys, but the car is set up really good. You got two piece rotors here, you got Michelin Pilot Sports. Most of you guys got on Chinese tires. <laughs> you got Pirelli's up front, two piece rolls in the front. 255 and 285 is in the rear. The car still, it's, everything is still a building process, man. Most of you guys don't even do none of these modifications, man. You know, see what I'm saying? And he could pitch that wing. So anybody want to line it up with him? Definitely. Let's take a couple look and some more cars. Indifference. Shout out to Q's of Atlanta, man. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. I like the fitment on this one. That's my type of fitment. Yeah. Looking nice. Sitting real nice. That's the meaty fitment right here, guys. Because this, this literally is going to show you guys the difference in fitment. 
because he's literally super flush with slightly stretched tires. He has more of a Mexi flush look, but depending on how much camber is in there, it literally will not rub. And it has a nice, I like how it has a nice cup to it. Love that. You could pull the fenders out a little bit. He probably barely rubs. Like, rubs a little bit right there. If he pulls it out a little bit, won't even have any issues. And then that front fitment. Oh, this is your car? I was talking about fitment because I was comparing the both. Fitment, that one's more of a stretch. This one's more of a maxi flush, but I like this fitment a little bit more because it gives you a nice cone look. Like, like the nice cone look to it. I always love that look. You gotta pull the fender out a little bit like it touches. I, I got the rubber in every place. Okay, yeah, just gotta pull out a little bit, but you probably, once you pull out just a little bit right here, you probably will not, never touch again. Because, mm-hmm. Nice and nice, man. Oh, really? I'm glad I could help you out, brother. Have fun with the car, man. Yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely good meaty fit, man. I love it. Because you don't always have to go with the small, thin tires, guys. Like, he went with a nice, functional setup here, and that works. That definitely works. He's super low. More, more of that stretch look. So, just wanted to show you guys some of that. Let's take a look at some of these white cars. Everybody got a white Q50. Still got the temp tags. Temp tags, temp tags. Q's of Atlanta. Shout out to the Q's of Atlanta again. I appreciate you guys for your hospitality. Gotta, gotta shout you guys out. Gotta shout you. I look with the AMS sauce right there. You know, we gotta get rid of that. We gotta get some race box back there. Shout out to Go Race Box. Q's of Atlanta. All right. Take a look, take a look, take a look. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't have these. Well, I had uh, wet, uh, wet sports, wet sports SA 15 R's. This is nice blue, man. Ooh, that blue stands out. Definitely like that blue. And then we gotta finish with the gold. Yeah. Shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to y'all. A shout out to my Stinger family, too. They also came out there to support the team. Really appreciate these two brothers for coming out, man. And you guys got to show some love to the Stingers, too. Seeing both of these cars roll down the street together. I see why people get these cars, man. They have a, they have their own presence, guys. I'm telling you, some of you guys hate the Stingers. But the more and more I see them modified, the more and more I even appreciate them so much. They felt I fall in love with them. Nice, wide arches and everything it just it just works it just works guys so shout out to these two stinger owners man love it so much thank you thank you for supporting the wood boy boost thank you everybody for watching do appreciate you guys love you guys very much you can also check out the two links i posted for some of my other videos also on top of that if you want to purchase some boost emotion merch definitely check the link that i posted also and finally if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them please hit the link for to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you